we were out on the road with uh, the show Ziegfeld, and we'd had about three days of rehearsal, and then we were going to do the um, the dress rehearsal with an audience, and we'd finished all the rehearsing and this and that, and been through all the music and this and that, and before we headed off to have dinner, I guess, before the show, the conductor looked at uh, Rick Traeger, who was playing trombone, and said, oh yeah, by the way, after a tune 26C, I'm going to point at you, and when I cue you, I need you to make the sound of a cow mooing. And Rick goes, okay, did you want me to use my trombone? Of course, we all laughed, and of course, that's what it was, and so Rick, every night in this show, there was a fake cow they brought out on stage, and you have to fake the sound of a cow moving on his trombone, and he was really good at it. Anyway, after a while, when you're on the road, you get a little bit bored, you need things to do, so myself and the other, tr the other trumpet player, Chuck, we decided to put together what, would be, what could be called a shadow box. So we went down to the kitchen of the hotel we were staying in, and we found some box, you know, that had tomatoes in it or something they didn't need, and we got some uh, some lighting gel from the lighting department, and we got some gaff tape, and I think we bought a can of spray paint, or someone had one we could borrow, and we made some stencils and stuff, and it was a two-part shadow box that we had to sadly sacrifice two stand lights to create, one on each side, so we could turn one light on and then the other light on. And um, we put this up above uh, Rick's head in the, uh, in the pit, unbeknownst to him, of course. We had run the wires down the side, and um, the first side of it, we could flash by plugging in and out the stand light. It was in red. It said, uh, stand by cow. And then the second half of it said, moo. So we thought it'd be kind of funny, so we had it affixed up there, and no one knew it was there but Chuck and myself, and Rick was sitting there ready to go. And we're down behind him, and we're plugging the stand light. I think I was plugging in the in and out, the standby cow, you know, boom, boom, make it flash, flash, flash. And apparently, Rick's, you know, kind of waiting for that cue, but he sees this red light, this thing flashing in his bell. And so he looks up, and he sees the, you know, standby cow, and he lost it, man. He couldn't play at all. He was just about ready to, you know, spit everything up and... And John, the conductor, gave him the cue, and this strange sound came out of his horn that had nothing to do with the cow. Of course, we did plug in the thing that said moo at that moment, and it was never the same after that. The consummate cow player that Rick Traeger is, middle name Bessie, as you can see, he has the proper attire. He has the proper equipment for it. Oh, let's not get into that. Oh. Anyway. Rick, do you have any words of wisdom to the next trombone player's staff? Uh, the thing to do is really uh, a Zen approach. I like to think about uh, being one with a cow. Uh, basically, I, I think that's about it. You have to really concentrate and and get into the truth. A, a good warm glass of milk before the show helps a lot, also. But um, so maybe the best thing would be if we could simulate the gig conditions. Um, gig conditions. Yes, well, here you are sitting there. Yeah, I'm, I'm just kind of like this. Poised for the cow. and Looking just... over here to see what you guys are doing. Uh-huh. And then uh, I get ready to do the cow. But wait yeah. a minute, isn't something else happens first. You get that cue light, don't you? Yeah. Oh, the cue light, yeah, of course. I mean, I couldn't do the cue without the cue light because okay. I wouldn't know when to do it. Let's cut to the cue light here. Hang on. When love is in the air, I can smell it. <laughs> or is that you? <laughs> And there you have it, Rick Traeger. <sighs> Being the way we are, we ran the cow cue light every night from there till the end of time or the end of the tour. Have a nice day.